era begins again. About how people feel entitled. As far as entitlement's concerned, nobody owes you anything, and that's more true now than ever before. Especially what's going on in this country. I did a story on that five-year-old down in North Carolina. It was sickening. Freaking sickening. And I had to put it over on Spotify, you know, our radio platforms. Because the other ones would have censored it. Because I got pretty real. So go over and check that one out. It's about race relations and uh, this whole damn country right now. Because I really think uh, the story of that five-year-old really needed to get out. Mainstream media isn't covering it at all. It was a sickening event. It don't fit their narrative. But it also brought me to the place where I sat back and said, you know what, it's not only going on in this country, but it's going on uh, within our lifestyle. Everybody feels entitled. Be it starting your own motorcycle club, not following the traditions that have been set since the 40s and even before then. They think because they go out there, they get a bike, that they can do whatever they want. Hey, it's fine being a motorcycle enthusiast. Hey, be proud of that. If that's what you are, be proud. Don't act like something you're not. And don't think that you can do whatever you want. Yeah, I get a lot of uh, haters on uh, my platform. As soon as they see this, they'll probably go hog uh, crazy. Well, the Constitution says I can do whatever I want. Well, that's fine and dandy. Do whatever you want. Do what you want. The question is, can you back it up? And nine times out of ten... I don't think so. Because it's a whole different ball game, man. Whole different ball game when you get out on the street. Many people don't realize that when they're going through their midlife crisis and they want to go play Jack's Teller. I think that show had to be the worst thing that ever happened. Hey, it's entertaining as hell, man. My end's not so much because, you know, I really don't think it captures the real story of that culture and you know what the Latino culture within the motorcycle community is one of the best I grew up in a Latino neighborhood tons of Latino friends <laughs> crap a lot of them saved my ass growing up you know but I don't think they capture it one thing that Latinos do do is they go out there they work for what they want they don't feel entitled not like a lot of people now. A lot of people, they get taught that the world is this way. When in reality, it isn't. It isn't that way at all. Look at the schools. And I think this is where it comes from, man. I never thought that it would leak into being a biker or the biker lifestyle never thought this kind of attitude would be around the entitlement has screwed everything up if you ask me you know the way they think they're you know the way they act it's like foreign to me when I came up it was the 90s it was pretty screwed up in the 90s man uh, a lot of stop, stuff popping off in uh, Chicago, hey, around the country. It was a lot more hardcore, a lot more hardcore thinking. You got people out there, well, this is 2020. Last time I checked, man, this has been something, you know, of a lifestyle going back all the way, like I said, the 40s and before then. Yeah, it heated up after World War II, but how's it changed because it's 2020? The reason it's changed is because the BS ideals that were brought in. Especially with the motorcycle club stuff. 
you know, I really don't like talking about it, uh, the protocols, but I think a lot of people have been covered the entitlement and the protocol deal. You know, I know BD does an awesome job with the protocol stuff. He's got over 800 videos, so it's like, damn, man, what else can you say, BD? <laughs> if they don't get it after 800 and something videos, something's freaking wrong. It's a sad state of affairs, if you ask me. Real sad state of affairs. What's going on? It's funny, you know, sometimes I'll talk about the women and stuff. And they're like, man, you're a chauvinist pig. I never do that. No, I come back and say, you only wish you could think like that because your balls are in your freaking woman's uh, purse. But let's talk about uh, pride, loyalty, honor. You have one guy uh, that has a Facebook group tries to talk about that stuff all the time. And for those that know him, it's like, dude... They, we laugh. We really do. We laugh. If people really knew the backstory, they'd just be shaking their head at uh, what they're trying to watch and claiming what they're learning. And they ain't learning real much, man, from a guy like that. Because on the street, he ain't a nobody, man. He ain't a nobody. The only reason why he was a somebody at one point in time is because he had people that were backing him up. This is a dude that would get freaking slaughtered in a fight. Slaughtered. But that's the type of guys you want to take advice from. That's on you. One thing I do know is if you're going to have pride, you better have pride in yourself, who you are. You better have, how can I say it? You better have a sense of direction. A lot of people don't have a sense of direction anymore. And that's what I mean by saying, you know, people think everybody owes them something when they don't. And it really got me thinking about this kid. You know, you're talking about stuff that happened centuries ago and trying to use that as an excuse to why you're down on your luck. One thing I always did was believe in myself. I never, ever liked working for somebody else. So I said to myself, you know what? I don't how, no, that got uh, messed up there. I don't know how many times people uh, told me that this ain't going to work, that ain't going to work. I started businesses after businesses. What I would do is build up the business, flip it. Make my way, work myself, you know what I mean? Work myself to a better place. And I grew up in a hard-ass neighborhood, hard-ass streets. You know, everybody was poor, didn't have a damn thing. And a lot of my friends, they did the same thing. Yeah, some went one way, in the way they do things, ended up in the, you know, the joint. Others went a different route. But one thing is freaking certain. They kept on moving. They didn't let anybody bring them down. And that's an attitude that's lost on many people. Especially those who think they can do this and can do that and go against traditions. Now, if you got the drive and the knowledge to try to do it, go for it. Go for it. But you have to be ready to back that stuff up. And you got to remember, nobody in life is going to owe you anything, man. Life's going to eat you up if you let it. And a lot of people let life eat them up. They want to find excuses instead of solutions. And I think that's really what's wrong with this country and this lifestyle. Is social media a bad thing? Yeah. <laughs> because you got people trying to learn about something instead of going out on the streets and doing it. And they learn it from people that 
are fake, man. Fake. Every time I, you know, because I get people that send me that crap from him all the time. And it's like, dude, you're the most fakest person I ever known, man. You talking about you did this. You talked about you did that. Well, what do you got? What do you got to show for it? From what I hear, nothing. But you a hustler. Hustler my ass. If you a hustler, man, you wouldn't be decrepit. Be out there banging, doing what you need to do. But that's like most people, man. They ain't hustlers. They just want to act that way on social media. So I think the moral of this video, and like I said, it's part one, we'll go into part two, is be real with yourself. Don't think people owe you. And don't take no for an answer, man. And don't think just because you went and got a bike, you can do whatever you want. Unless you can back it up. Because there's a lot of people out there that's going to dot you, man. And... I don't even know why people want to start clubs. Why not go with the freaking ones already established? You don't have to put in all the damn work. You don't have to go through all the damn problems. So maybe somebody can answer that for me. Don't forget, watch video two. Video show is now available on Spotify and all major platforms including iHeartRadio, iTunes, Stitcher, and more. Don't forget to become a subscriber on any one of these platforms so you can be notified right away when our weekly episode is uploaded so you never miss an episode. Hi, this is James Hollywood Machikari. Join our YouTube channel and get Motorcycle Madhouse and tons of videos related to the bikers. Join now by subscribing for free and become part of the crowd today. Always free and always entertaining. Don't forget to visit us at www.harleyliberty.com for your daily biker news. Rock on!